<laughs> you beautiful bastard. All right, all right, all right. There, all, all, all my links are posted. Everybody's notified. No, no viewers. <laughs> but then and again, I do my live stuff just spontaneously. I just fucking won't live. Fuck it. <laughs> you shouldn't. You should plan them out to let people know. Eh? Maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so this is inside the game. starting season two here now season one was is a good one if you saw any, any of those ones mr. wild bill and Matt rug and everybody else I had there I see yeah, I said it Matt rug <laughs> the guy that never lays down for anybody <laughs> but given a chance he'll lay you the fuck out Matt Rug. And in this year's, in this season's, we, we've got all different characters. we got uh, <coughs> my personal favorite, my cock. Ha <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he started his NHL season last night. William Mullins Johnson, the Islanders, started last night. NHL debut. Today's episode, we're going to see Phil McCracken, Boston Bruins, and Herb Cush, Chicago Blackhawks. Cush is a uh, goaltender. And then tomorrow... Or tonight, even maybe, we're we're gonna see uh, from the Buffalo Sabers, Peneus Testicles. And you gotta say that name right, Testicles. His his roots go back to ancient Greece. There, you know, he heard the old philosophers, you know, them old guys from way back then, Socrates and Pericles, and all of them. Well, here's one everybody forgot about, his ancestor, Testicles. He was a big fucking dick, apparently, back then. <laughs> and then we're also going to see, uh, uh, from the Ottawa S Senators, Jack Hammer. <laughs> that was last night. So... Let's start off with uh, Phil McCracken. Uh, I'm just waiting for the day that the game Mike Cock takes on Mike Hunt. <laughs> Let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight. The Hawks took to the road to match up with the Avalanche. Chicago posts the two points after coming up clutch in the speed <coughs> in the shootout. The Habs were hoping so to take Phil a starts out of the off. Maple Leafs, 
Montreal talking with the GM. Have a nice day, he tells him. Rangers them. battled it out against the Capitals. The New York Rangers took it to the net in this one, and they picked up the win. Don't even think about touching that dial or touching that button. We've got plenty more on the ice, and that's next. Heck, they're starting off uh, Phil McCracken hardcore here, man. His teammate gives him a challenge for his first game in the NHL to score three points. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take that bet. No, wait, wait. Who needs gimmick like that to perform? Either you got it or you don't. Or I'm just here to help the team. But who doesn't want to earn, earn some bank? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I could just go straight up with the three points, get three assists. Or I could go three points with one goal. I'm going to go with one goal. I'm, I'm going to cock right off to this guy. I gained a lot, a lot of teammate like ability, so it's, they should pass me the puck now. You know what I mean? That's what I find when uh, your stuff is up like that. They uh, pass you the puck a little more. Look for you. Mhm. Mm uh, you went from the draft floor to being drafted, going through the. Preseason now it's time for your NHL debut. What do you expect from it? Right now I'm really focused, I'm not not gonna talk much. Oh I I gotta be the first star of this game too now. <laughs> No, <coughs> be the first star. Get three points with one goal. <laughs> if I could pull this off, it'll be a NHL debut to remember, man. I tell you. But that's that's the thing about this game, man. It gives you a challenge like that. Neither you pick up the challenge or you don't. You know. I am so intrigued to see how things play out for this young rookie with his first game in the NHL and and just how he responds right I, you know he's messaged everybody every single contact that he's got in his phone book uh, he has probably texted or called and ready to and I'm on line three uh, right winger on line three in this sort of situation I'm a right winger right? left a winger 70 overall you know, anybody's first job your first day on the job six right? feet 215 pounds shoots right kid, my first I'm day, a grinder the uniform I had the butterflies that's flipping burgers I mean this kid's going on the ice in front of 20,000 you got people. drafted 117th overall Can't wait to see how it all plays out uh, we'll check in on the phone lines as well I think a lot of Well, some fun, some drama, a little bit of everything on the ice tonight. Oh, Let's this is weird. The scores around the league. The uh, unless he's down on the, the unless they put him down on the farm because I put Noah, Noah's character on Boston, eh? Like the right on the roster. On the road against the and Ducks. he's not he's Minnesota not here. on a show in the shootout and they get the two points. The Canucks were on the road to take on the Flyers. Vancouver tightens it up when they needed to most and they preserve the victory. 
Hey, we gotta pay a couple of bills here, but we got a lot more action we gotta get to. Stay I put a few of my guys on here. They must be down on the farm or something, or uh, trade, trade, trade before the season began. Is they're not here. I don't see none of my guys. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Uh, I need a coffee first. Inside the game. Dallas Stars at Boston Bruins start start the season off. Phil McCracken with Boston. Score three points with the goal and be the first star in the next game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So simple enough. Skate, pass, shoot. Skate, pass, shoot. We've talked enough about him. It's time to find out if he can actually do it on the ice. Razor, any final thoughts? Well, I think his thought is that he wants all this talk to be over, James. Everyone has asked him questions. Are you ready to play? Can you play at this level? He's nervous. He's scared. He's excited. He can't wait to get on the ice. It's time to do what you do best. Just go play and show everyone. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Lebowski. Welcome to Beantown here in historic Boston. <coughs> well, Welcome to Beantown. Here now. You went through this many moons ago. Your first NHL game. What's going through his mind? He's anything like me. He's terrified. I could barely hold my really? stick. Oh, I was scared to death. And I was so excited to be What a goalie match of Ben an Bishop and Tukaraz. I an NHL player. Two teams looking star for a win, and we are set to go. Pasternak's got such an accurate shot, guys. That's his snipe zone ability, but the key to that accuracy is shooting when the puck is flat and settled on the ice. And no luck on that pass attempt. Dallas has it in the defensive end. From the left side, takes the pass. Puts it in deep. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Rask's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Gozado. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The game is still scoreless. Sheehan's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Great save by Rask. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Dumps it into the O zone. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Handles the puck. Sheehan's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, and he whiffs. 
And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. And that one's broken up. Couldn't complete the pass. Moves it quickly over to Richardson. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over to Richie. Sends it in deep. The Stars gain control of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Play whistled dead because of an offside. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still no score in this one. Dallas has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. The Stars play it along the boards. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves it to Shane. Here comes the pushback. Carlo's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Well, he's just slowly working his way to the bench, James, where the training staff's going to look at him. Had an awkward play earlier in the shift, and he doesn't look very good right now. Quick feed to Sagan. And that's knocked away by Richie. Oh, you fucker. The Stars have it now. Get off this. You get off this. Shot denied by the goaltender. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Quick pass to Lindell. <laughs> I'm gonna There's that the scene you played from Family Guy a while ago there, Joey. This is it, kids. This is it. This is what we practice for, right? I'm gonna use that clip for my intro too, for uh, inside the game. <laughs> But I think that would look cool, man, on, on the end, surprise, big screen. Yeah. On screen. Dan and Dan. If I could make that happen, fuck, that would look cool. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Stars were very sharp in that first period. They turned the puck over a lot. Probably pretty lucky that the game's scoreless. Dallas tries to break out from their own end. Scrum ensues along the boards. Boston's got the puck behind the net. Can't get it to go. That's not going to fool him. Looked like he didn't pick this puck up very early, and... He reacted late, but he gets it right off the top of the mask. That one's going to stink. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Mike Cock got his first, first two points in his debut. Fax has won it in their own end. And that shot dies in traffic. Passes the puck over to O'Gara. Here's a short pass to Ben. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh! Right off the knock, and thankfully he had a mask on to make the save. Heads to the back of the net, and he comes up with the save. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Fucking no, a, a fucking three-foot oh, pass. Nobody between us, and he pass. couldn't make it to me. <laughs> Well, that was a good scoring chance that we get another look at on the replay, James, but the goaltender's in position and makes a really good save on it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we've still got zeros on the board. Pavelski's big tip for zone ability is when he gets to the front and deflects pucks, guys. When he changes the trajectory of a shot, goalies really struggle to catch up and make the save. Mm, okay. Frederick. Quick feed to Hintz. Puck dumped in. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. 
along the side. Oh, you bugger. Through the neutral zone. Whistle blown as a few players go ducking for cover on the bench. A few players go ducking for cover. Oh. The rookie's been a big part of this team, and the coach has gone to him here, James, because huh. they have got... Some of these comments won't make sense. This rookie's been been a Listen big part of the team. His first game of the yeah, season. they've been absolutely lifeless <laughs> out there. They need a shock or something to wake them up. First game of the season. He's been a big part of this team. This rookie. <laughs> Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Still scoreless in this one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. And that's broken up. Puck scooped up by Richie. Takes the pass from the left wing. Taken by Lindell. The Stars move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Belmar. That pass doesn't go. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And now it's over to Pasternak. Tries to the crease. And that one's stopped. Move to the middle. And that's blocked. Richie's going to play it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Suter. Quick pass to Pasternak. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Savard's got it in the offensive zone. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. The Bruins are off to the box. Interference the call. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. The Stars get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, it's a great chance, James. This uh, top-rated power play gets their first opportunity of the night. You know these power play guys have been chomping at the bit to get out there. Can't connect on the pass. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Dallas is across the <coughs> <line>. <coughs> And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Dallas will play it from behind the net. From off the wall and onto a stick. Takes the pass. And that's blocked away. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they get that puck down the ice. The Stars have it behind the net. They go on the attack from the left side. And he takes a shot. There's the whistle as the puck heads out of play. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Still zeros on the board as Buck the zero zero after comes two. To an end. period we're still scoreless nice job tying up his opponent and that's intercepted and they'll go on the attack the Bruins have it against the wall the Stars have it in the offensive zone back in in front stopped by the goaltender delayed penalty looming scooped up along the wall by Fafsa and now he moves it quickly to Lindell drives it to the crease Dives down low to block it. Puck exits the zone. Picked up along the wall by Lindell. Now he slides it up to Sagan. 
And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you got to realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. The Stars send their man advantage unit out once more. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. He takes a shot, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Slides it over with pace to Richie. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Poked away in the defensive end. Oh, and I couldn't fucking take that pass clean, bugger. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Ah, oh, you bugger. Sends a pass over. Belmar's got it against the boards. There's oh, come on. The play. Come on. Come on, the Phil. Have been a two for <laughs> Get that guy off the, the ice. Go up when they start to plead with the ref. You know they know they're guilty. Dallas is ready to go back to work on special teams. Uh, all right, here's your inside of the game from behind the glass perspective. Sagan's won the draw. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. And they send it down the ice. Brought to you by a ham sandwich. Through pass ahead. Oh, just a great heads up play. Because even a ham needs a sandwich. Puck clear from the defensive end. Dallas has it behind the net. From the right side, takes the pass. Here's a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Rask. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Dallas squanders a chance to take the lead here as their power play comes up empty. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers, really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Feeds it to Como. And he slides it quickly to Ben. Moves the puck. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. Pokes it away in his own end. Some guys shy away at this time. Others, James, they lock right in. That's when the game is most tight. When it's right on the line and everything that you do is under the microscope. Here in the late going of the frame, the game is still scoreless. Stop trying online dating. Sends the pass over. That's how you stop so it. Got a hold of it along the wall. Because the you... The Bruins will play it in their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Uh-uh! Nice block. Dumped into the opposite corner. Takes the feed. Approaching the final... Well, I didn't make my objective. 0-0 after regulation. The horn. Regulation time well. has expired. And we are off to overtime. Up, we got some OT coming our way. And we're being all shot too. So. Clap, clap, clap. She gave me the clap. Clap, clap. This is what we live for. And now overtime. she's got Let's the go. thunder clap. Overtime action is underway. Absolutely love it. I should make a fucking big video joke about that. Thundercats, but instead Thunderclap. Manages to hang on. Dallas with possession in their own zone. Carries it in. And that's poked away. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Rask. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. 
takes the feed and sends people ducking for cover with that high one. Yeah, and you're, you know, when you're the forward, James, you're fighting for your spot, and then this thing gets airmailed in over top of your shoulders. Not a very comfortable place to be. That puck's got to be lower and play for a rebound. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Dallas has possession of it now. Here they are on the attack. Shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Down to the final minute in overtime. No score after the sh uh, overtime. Wow. Oh, what a fucking game. Well, These two goalies have just fucking played hardcore. These guys, Rask and Ben, and, and Ben and fucking Ben Bishop. Oh, that's huge in the shootout. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's time to put up or shut up for both the goaltenders and the players. It's time for the shootout. Gives them absolutely nothing. I think the goalies did are best. That Gives them absolutely the nothing. Efficient. They don't move a whole lot. They just really play their position solidly. Pasternak's up next. It's his time to shine. Shot scores! Really good release here, James. He Pasternak scores. Radulov shootout. Ball out. Doesn't go. I'm sure he had a different plan than that. Well, maybe that's part of the problem, James. Maybe he had a couple too many thoughts in his head. Really important to just whittle it down to one thought, one reaction. He didn't get it done. <coughs> oh, Mashon. When you see the coach over his shoulder and challenging him, I think for a lot of us, we were all kind of waiting to see how the kid would respond with that. And unfortunately, we just never saw it play out just because of the way the flow and the tempo of the game was going at the time. Now, I just thought it was worth mentioning there. All right, we got a lot more still in store. We'll open up the phones. We'll also check the text line as well. And that, they say, is that. I don't think we should be making a big, big deal about the kid not having a banner night, this magical, romantic night in his debut game in the National Hockey League. Yes, I get it. Doesn't pick up a point. But guess what? There's lots of other great players in the history of the game that didn't pick up a point in their first NHL game. So give us some time. This is a long-term build. This is a long-term plan with this player. Let's give him some time. Let's not make or break his career <coughs> just one game. Okay? Can we get on the same page on that? All right. Let's go to line five. We've got Jerry. Jerry, how are you? And they pick up the win. And I'll tell you what, I don't want to sit there and be Debbie Downer here at a moment like this. But I will say, based on what I'm seeing from the kid, I want to see more. You know, it's not to say that he's been bad, but I just want to see him take that next step. That, you know what, you're here for a reason. Show us what you got, kid. Um, no points in this one, and it's not to say it's all got to be about goals and assists here, but just show me a little more. I, you know, it's early. I'm not writing them off just yet, and like I said, I don't want to be too much of a hater as I try to get all fumbled up on my words being Mr. Negative Nelly, 
but just show me a little bit more. Come on. I know you got it in you. You're here for a reason. Time to step up. All right, back to the phones we go. We go to... Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. The Stars were on the road up against the Bruins. Boston pulls this one out in the shootout. The Rangers took on the Canadians. The New York Rangers tightened it up late when they needed to most, and they pick up the two points. The Senators were hoping to play spoiler against the Maple Leafs. Toronto padded the stats on this night and pick up the easy win. The story on the ice continues in a moment. Great night to be on the couch and watching hockey. Tons of scores around the league. Let's take a look at what went down. The Kraken paired up with the Devils. New Jersey topples the opposition with They're a big the offensive effort. Jack Hammer. To do. The Sharks were looking to steal two. <laughs> that would make a cool line, though, eh? Uh, Mike Cock, uh, Jack Hammer on D with uh, Pinius Testicles on D. With uh, Phil McCracken on the wing, and uh, and I can't remember where my other dude's name. <laughs> oh, uh, fucking, uh, what the hell is his name? Let's see. <laughs> William Mullins Johnson on the other wing, that's right. We're going to Jack Hammer. T tonight we're going to see Herb Cush and Peneus Testicles. This guy he made does look like a jackhammer. <laughs> First game of the season, the Battle of Ontario. Holy shit. <laughs> have to get one assist in this game. So intrigued to see how things play out for this young rookie with his first game in the NHL and and just how he responds, right? I, you know he's messaged everybody, every single contact that he's got in his phone book. Uh, well, he I'm has playing with one of my made guys. 
and Marlin ready to roll. Spruce. Uh, now you see how he rolls in this sort of situation, right? A lot of Penn. anticipation. Think about anybody's first job, your first day on the job, right? Man, I think even when I was flipping burgers as a kid, my first day going in with the uniform, I had the butterflies. That's flipping burgers. I mean, this kid's going on the ice in front of 20,000 people. Pinto. How's he going to roll with that? Can't wait to see how it all plays out. Uh, we'll check in on the phone lines as well. I think a lot of... All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Blackhawks were hoping to come up with well, two points Jack on the road Hammer, against six, the Avalanche. Two, two, Colorado partied it up Shoot with a right. big offensive display. Left D, right D, the Canadians five. Are tall order to fill as they tried to take two, two on the road against the Maple Leafs. Drafted Toronto 39th takes this overall one by with Ottawa. a strong effort at both ends of the ice. The Blue Shirts were looking to steal two points against the Capitals. The New York Rangers tightened it up in the victory en route to a shutout. We got to take a quick pause. Battle of Ontario to start the season. On the other side. Stay with us. Ottawa's Senators make a home stand against Toronto as Jack Hammer makes his NHL debut. There has been so much talk about this young rookie, Ray. What's going through his mind here before he does it for real on the ice? Well, by the time he gets to the point where he's about ready to step on the ice for the game, he's burned some energy already, James, in warm-up, but he's had time to think. So, you know, he's nervous, he's excited, he's anticipating his big moment, but this is a blur. He's not going to remember any of it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Canada, Ontario. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Savalski. Toronto's coming into this one on the second leg of a back-to-back -back here tonight, Ray. Yeah, and to couple that, you're on the road where you're unfamiliar, you've got travel. There is a challenge to this, but the focus of the team has to be about playing a good first period. Worry about the rest of the game later. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Leafs take possession here on the opening drive. We are underway. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. Here's a short pass to Matthews. That's gloved by Murray. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. The Senators will play the puck from behind the net. And they continue to apply pressure here. All right, we're off. One nothing Ottawa, right on. <coughs> Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. The Senators pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Colin White, doesn't he play D? Gagne's won it. Take it along the wall by CeCe. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. He's getting called for interference here. He doesn't seem to like it. You like the call? I like the call. It's a good check. Nick Paul. He doesn't have the puck, though. That's interference. You can't do that. The Leafs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Great opportunity to get this game back to level of power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. Across the point. Can't connect. Still keeps a hold of it. Hooked away in the neutral zone. The Senators gain control of the puck against the wall. Ottawa's got possession at center. 
Receives the pass. Whoa. He scores! Wow, what timing! Didn't take very long. First career game, first career goal. Morally screwed. That he can shoot this puck while in full motion makes it so difficult for the goaltender to keep up. He makes that release snappy, and it's in the net. Well, they set up here in the face-off circle. Boy, this play's still buzzing. His first goal in his first game. That didn't take very long, did it? What a great moment. Puck picked up by Riley. Throws it in. Grabbed along the board by Simmons. Made the stop on the play. Moves it quickly over to Tavares. The Senators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Kachuk's taking it from his own end. Toronto's got it now. Oh my gosh. Puts it on net. Buries it for the goal. I got me out of position, man. I, we were gonna, we were going to leave the zone there, and then they coughed it up and the leave the for it. It really matters. All he had to do was make one little pass somewhere to get out of the zone, and he didn't. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Oh, you fucker. Toronto's trailing by one. Puck grabbed by Hamannick. Grabs it in his own end. Slides the puck over. And that pass attempt is deflected. Blocked in front. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Tavares. And the puck's booted away. The Senators ready to go on the attack. Too many He's bodies inside the game from the bench to start the goaltender. And there's the whistle. That's why I like the low camera angle. Mike. Here with the play starting to break down yeah. in front of him. Yeah. Some last because it gives a really good perspective of the game, eh? You know what I mean? The Leafs win the draw. And then instead of a, a, of a bubble all the time, like an observer. Yeah, uh, this, this puts it like kind of from your eyes. Conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. That's why it's called inside the game. Because I'm bringing you inside the game. The Leafs have it now. Slides it to Riley. And now he tries to get it across to Simmons. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Dodano. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Senators take possession here in the open ice. Picks up the puck in his own end. Quick feed to Hammer. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Battling for it along the boards. Wolves clearly ready here in his first appearance of the season. That's a pretty sharp stop. Kerfoot's got it into offensive territory. Puts the puck on net. Turns it aside with the blocker by Murray. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And he gets pummeled. He tried to protect himself by getting his stick up, but he didn't get it up far enough. It got rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Here's a chance in front. And that somehow stayed out of the net. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. More than half the frame has been played here. It's 2-1. Congestion blocks the shot. Gagne's got it across the line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And there's the save. And that one's blocked. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Murray's been dealing with these scoring chances like he is locked in tonight. Here it's a stick save. 
Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Ottawa's won the faceoff deep in their own end. They score! What a cheap fucking goal, man. Our guy, the face off was to the right of our goalie. He wins the draw. It, it goes off our goalie's fucking pad right to a leaf guy, guy right there. Let's get her on. Jack's got uh, got uh, got uh, ha hammer somebody. Ah, it took me down, bastard. Sports, rivalries sell, case in point. And whatever spills <sighs> over from the last game or a game five games ago, you never know when it's going to spark. It's amazing how the energy in the building can seep away when your guy doesn't do so well in the fight. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop in this arena now. Matthews can deke his way to the net and launch a quick shot before anyone can react. That's his shock and awe zone ability. Bruce is known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. They've got numbers here. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, what a save in front. Wolves somehow able to make this save. I, I think from my position that this is going in the net. But he gets just enough of it. Ottawa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Handles the puck. Ottawa's gained possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. From the left side, takes it Oh, come on. And they won't connect on that one. Quick pass to Hammer. Cross corner dump in. Takes the pass. A most entertaining start to this one. 20 minutes in the books, and both teams getting on the board. Mm. Two, two after two. After one, I mean, two, two, after one. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Shot with the stop. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Nice pass. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. The Senators will play it from the defensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to Hammer. Sends a pass over. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And there's a great save by Wall. Hammer's time in the penalty box is done if after that fight. And now he can get back to playing hockey here. This is what he does, and he should be able to generate some chances tonight. Oh, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. The Senators win the draw. And the officials are calling a goal. I drew a penalty. I drew a penalty, but I won't and get no the power play time. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two Mitch Marner, ha-ha. But that should never be a penalty either. He tried to block my shot there. And, yeah, that should never be a penalty. Ever. Power play unit out for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play. You're a, a penalty. Over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight. And they'll want to Get off the ice. what they've worked on. <laughs> just to win the draw and start moving the puck. Toronto's looking to break out. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Sends the pass over. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. 
Shane Pinto. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. The Senators go ahead by one. They had to work for that one. A lot of work put in just to get yourself inching into the lead. There's still lots of time left. Puck scooped up by Hall. Moves inside. Taken by Hammer. Ottawa's got it against the boards. Dumps it in. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Muzzin. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Murray's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Senators are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Ottawa's got it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Kachuk. That's kicked away with the pad by Wolf. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Interference, the call. Can you Morgan Riley. Well, you can argue interference. anything, James, but that's fair. That's an interference penalty. As we're about to drop the puck, power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Oh, Moves you bugger. Look at this shit. The Senators gain possession. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nylander. Move to the middle. And that one's broken up. And no luck on that pass attempt. Quick feed to Hammer. Stopped with ease. The Leafs move it ahead. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Ottawa's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Hammer. Oh, you bugger. Rips it on net, and he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. And it's a quick pass to Nylander. The Leafs move it in. Great hand-eye contact on the play. Nice zone entry from the middle. That's what he said. Nice going entry from the middle. <laughs> Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, you bugger. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Off a stick. Takes it in front. And now it's grabbed by Batherson. The Leafs have it against the wall. Moves the puck. Oh, and it stays out. I think he made a toe save on that one. Big save by the goaltender once again. He gets that one too. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Ottawa's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Puck picked up by Muzzin. Stop by the goaltender. Murray's had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. Slides the puck to Patherson. Takes the feed. And that pass is redirected. Get off the ice, man. Tosses it on to Tavares. That's a textbook save by Murray. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Senators are in transition. The Leafs have it against the wall. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, fantastic save by Wall. The Senators gain possession along the wall. Receives the pass. And gets it in deep in the opposite corner. The Leafs have it from their own end. Matthews has it in the defensive end. Puck grabbed by CeCe. 
Here's a short pass to Matthews. Trying to engage C -C. the physicality here. <laughs> down here. Ottawa's got it and they're on the attack. Just a simple save by Wool. Wool's able to make the save and on top of that deflects it out to the corner. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Musa quickly over to Hammer. The Senators move to the offensive zone. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. <coughs> <coughs> The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. 4-2 Ottawa after two periods of play. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Oh, you bugger. Regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Take it along the wall by Hamannick. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Through center along the wing. Quick feed. Oh, you over. fucking cocksucker. Puck scooped up by Kachuk. Oh, you Long fucker. Up the, momentum. the Leafs will play it against the wall. Picked off. Into the attacking end. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop by Wall. Oh, you Landing fucker. Stones him on the breakaway. Oh, what a save by the goaltender. Terrific play to get in all alone. The move and the shot look good to me. Oh, I couldn't get it, you fuck. Whoops. Did I say that? It's when I wish I could confront my teammates after the game and say, what the fuck are you guys doing? Taken by Matthews. Dishes it to Marner. The Senators will play the puck from behind the net. The Leafs have it in the offensive zone. Denies them with the pad. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Senators gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck down low. We got a stoppage here in play as the net gets knocked off. Murray's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one, but he got shot. Back down between the benches we go to Ray Ferraro. Ray, you hearing anything? Well, a little bit of talk up and down the bench here is they're trying to protect the lead, but they want to stay aggressive. I find it interesting that the coach is going to go with the youngster in this spot. Man, he's got a lot of faith in this kid. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Ottawa's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Bruce has won the draw here in the open ice. Toronto's got it in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Nylander. Oh, come on, man. Fuck, how did I not block that? When you get to 100, it's kind of a nice feeling, and you do start Fuck to think you. ahead. 
Here he is, 100 past that. Congratulations on his 200. On a play like that, yeah, you do. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. And now it's grabbed by Hamannick. Tavares plays it into the offensive zone. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Puts it up front. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Senators quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in across the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Pinned up along the boards. Scoops up the puck now. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Comes up with the stop. Here's a short pass to Tavares. And he regains control of the puck. Ottawa's moving it up the ice. Yeah, as soon as, soon as the coach said, Shut them down, they fucking nice scored on us. From the right side. <laughs> oh, they tied up the score. Fuck, 4-4. Four, four. The Senators played along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Brown. Here he is in close. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Pass across to Matthews. Feeds it over to Nylander. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Moves it to Marner. Can't find his man. Ottawa's in transition. Quick feed to Brown. Can't get it to go. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Knocked away by Hammer. Rips it from the blue line. Big time stop. Scrum along the boards. They battle for the puck. Taken by Nylander. Quick pass to CeCe. Steps inside. Sent into the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Hamannick. Down the right side and into the zone. Here's a shot. Great save by Wall. with a chance to score a really important power play goal. the call Darcy and no I, I think it's a good point you make and I think it was a challenge unfulfilled because you look at how the game was playing out after we saw that moment on the bench between the rookie and the coach you know I don't know if the kid ever got a chance to show what he could do or, or try to deliver the coach's message on the ice just the way that Pretty rough debuts for these two guys, man. Lost both games. Oh, no, I think we won that, I think. Uh, don't even know. Fuck. I, I was playing it, but I didn't pay attention. <laughs> and one thing I find so many of you, so many of That's you, why you call lose. in or send messages on social media, you base so much on goals and assists. And I will just say this. My personal opinion on the rookie's performance in his debut he looked really good. He looked really good. I know he didn't pick up a goal. I know he didn't get an assist. But to me, I thought he looked really noticeable. I'm calling the game. And how many times did I mention his name in that, right? That, to me, is a telling sign of somebody making a difference out there on the ice. Still to come, we will dive into what's happening in the world of Big Well, 
you know what? You can take that game and you could essentially crumple it all up and just throw it into the recycling bin. I don't even know if you'd want to know. I put it in the garbage because I don't think you want to recycle a performance like that. I thought the kid had a real off night. He struggled. I mean, look at the penalties he took. You know, some of those I just look at. That's a, that's an effort thing. You got to work harder. Those are lazy penalties to take sometimes. You just got to work through it. I know the coaching staff will be on him with that at practice coming up the next time they're back on the ice. All right, still to come here on the show, we will get Ray Ferraro's thoughts on how he saw things play out in this one. All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the ice tonight. The Leafs had an on-ice collision with the Senators. Toronto powers their way through late to come away with the win. The Penguins were hoping to fly high on the road against the Panthers. All right, let's go around the horn and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Hawks were in a dogfight on the road up against the Devils. New Jersey powers their way to victory in this one. All right, that's it for this program, this broadcast. Tonight, uh, tonight I'm thinking about, what time is it right now? I'm thinking about 7 o'clock. We'll go uh, continue with these NHL debut broadcasts tonight, 7 o'clock. About maybe 8, maybe 9, 10, 11, I don't know. <laughs> and we're starting off with Herb Cush, the goaltender for uh, Chicago. And then going to Peneus Testicles of Buffalo. So don't forget that. <laughs> 